Yo, 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 what's going on all my people? What's going on YouTube? Just get back, Rod, three times, all that active game. First, you get game, bring y'all another video, man. Now, today, I want to talk about something that I actually planned to talk about like a month ago, but here it is now, man. And, uh, it's probably going to go underneath my discussions, you know. I'm going to bring it, I'm, I'm bringing that whole bunch of discussions back because it, it's been, a, it's been a, t a minute in the making since I did some discussion videos and dropping knowledge videos, but, uh, you know what I'm saying, along with like my my high level game and I used to do it, all that's coming back. Don't even worry about it. I just gotta get settled in. You know, I'm a little stationary right now. I'm not as I can't move around as much as I used to. But you already know how, how it is, man. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to this topic, man. So what I want to talk about today was Saints World One and Two Remastered, why I think we deserve it and why it's been a long time to make us this game's come out. Now first before I even get into this and what I would like you know to come with something like this for something as grandiose we gotta we gotta stop ignoring the fact that volition keeps off putting our love for the original first two games i don't even know if volition has given us a reason why they continue to neglect even mentioning or caring about us fans who obviously want them to to give us a remaster in Saints Row 1 and 2. Like, they obviously, in their games, if you play, like, Saints Row 3, 4, whatever, there's little hints of the first two games. But you, we honestly, we could, hey, we could just tell that y'all don't even care about the first two titles. You know what I'm saying? Y'all neglect it. Y'all neglect to continue the Dex jump. Y'all, y'all, the Dex storyline. Y'all made up the excuse that, well, we don't want to alienate the players. You know. Yeah, like to alienate the players but y'all do know OG Saints Row fans still exist right like y'all do know this this fans that still care about the first two games y'all why y'all think that a mass amount of y'all fan base comes from the third game and beyond and, and, and fourth like why y'all why y'all think that like it's not just them I mean like why can't it can why can't it be conjoined the the biggest mistake any product maker can make is 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 is, is dividing the fans like y'all did and y'all deliberately did so. Y'all just like making it a war. And y'all don't even care, my nigga. Like with the old fans and the new fans. It's like. Y'all y'all split the fan base up. Between old, old Saints Row lovers and, and the new Saints Row lovers. And then y'all put little hints in y'all new Saints Row games. About like the past and shit like that. Like in Saints Row 4 where you got like old Saints Row 1 and 2 characters. You know, y'all put little hints in there, and then y'all pretty much diss the characters. Like, y'all diss, you know what I'm saying, Tanya, y'all diss the Vikings, y'all 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 throw little Easter eggs in there, y'all diss, you know what I'm saying, Dex, y'all diss all that shit. You know what I'm saying, because y'all still salty and butthurt that there's people that still care about all that. I guess it's because they, they deep down, back then, when I guess Saints Row 1 and, and, and maybe 2 came out, there was a lot of people calling it a GTA clone, and they still didn't get over that hurt. Like, they didn't think, they, they thought there was a mass amount of people just hating on the game rather than loving it, so they didn't get rid of the hurt. You know, so they was like, okay, fuck it, we just gonna do our own thing, and we not gonna ever look back, and that's what happened, my nigga. Like, these niggas' comments hurt y'all so much that, you know what I'm saying, when it, when it, when y'all made your own new title, whatever y'all did, you know, the past hurts y'all so much that y'all can't even y'all can't even look back. Y'all don't even want to look back. It's over with. So I think that's the reason why we may not get a Saints Row 2 and 1 remastered. But here's my thing, right? Well, I think we deserve it. You know what I'm saying? If y'all really want to <clears throat> up y'all sales, and we're not going to get it. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm 99.9% .9 sure we're not going to get it. But, well, I think we deserve it, you know what I'm saying? It's because you, you can't, you can't just... Like that, that that'd be like if if, if um let me, let me tell you if I could bring an example, bring an example out for y'all. That'd be like if Call of Duty, actually Call of Duty did do that. You know what I'm saying? They they just abandoned the futuristic people who who liked the futuristic side of Call of Duty and went back to the old ways. You know what I'm saying? Because it was a it was a majority. I don't know if it's a majority of Saints Row Three lovers. You know what I'm saying? In own words. You know what I'm saying? That like the the, 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 the the purple dildos and all the wackiness in the games more than the OG fan lovers. But I'm pretty sure if I just go through YouTube, you know what I'm saying, and, and see all the comments, that's not how it is. You know, 
there's, there's definitely more OG OG players, you know what I'm saying, old old school players. And when I say OG players, I don't mean they started with Saints Row 1 or 2, whatever like that. I'm just, I just mean that that's what they prefer, you know. They prefer the, the gangsterism or whatever the fuck you, you like to call that shit. Just the, you know what I'm saying, just the down-to-earth gameplay. They don't want all the spaceships and, and, and all the silliness. They just want the rackiness. I mean, the, uh, the, the realness. Not the wackiness, but... Yeah, that's that's all I see when I go through YouTube. So I don't I don't really think there's any excuse. You know what I'm saying? You got a mass majority of people saying that we like this and we like that and we don't like what y'all putting out now. I mean, y'all really have no excuse to keep on. You know what I'm saying? Pandering to whoever is behind these companies as that's saying that y'all need to that y'all need to put this out. Y'all don't have any excuse. There's nothing there. And and this new Saints Row Top doesn't even look like a Saints Row game. Now I could, I could leave this for a whole nother video, but I'm gonna get back to what I was talking about. So Saints Row One and Two remastered, right? Real easy to touch up, especially Saints Row 1, because there's barely anything in that game. And there's things to add in Saints Row 1. You know what I'm saying? Planes, boats, you know, making the map a little bit uh, bigger. You could, hell, you could make the map like Saints Row uh, 2. You know what I'm saying? Not not add everything, because obviously it wouldn't make sense. Like, don't add the old tour building. Don't change Saints Row District. Don't make it like, you know, keep it, keep it ghetto looking until you get the Saints Row 2 remastered. But what, what I meant is, like, in the still water, make like the Stillwater map like bigger you know what I'm saying like up in the uh what was that the suburb district like expand that like there's like in Saints Row 2 you know there's a sub suburban expansion district you can have that in Saints Row 1 remastered you know just make it a little bit bigger like that you know some some maps in Saints Row 1 some part of the map is empty some parts of the map are empty like the uh the airport is pretty empty you know what I'm saying it's pretty bland um you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Cause Saints Row One's been a minute since I played that game. Uh, um, you could have the uh, that little river on the side. You know that little river where uh, next to where Lynn got dumped or whatever. <clears throat> I think what what is that in Saints Row Two? I know it's gone, but I don't remember what what place it. But you could you could touch it up like how it is in Saints Row Two. You don't gotta add the university. I mean, you can add the university though. It doesn't play any part in the story like how it did in 2, but you can add it, you know what I'm saying, more landmarks in the game, add more weapons, touch up the graphics, of course, like how remasters always come, you know, just things like that, that I, you know, that that's what we would prefer, you know what I'm saying, we already got 3 remastered, and 3 was pretty good, you know, you know, aside, for the, aside from the story, which was already mediocre compared to the first two games, like how, how it looked though, like the the new car models y'all added and, and 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 man they look beautiful. I ain't gonna even lie, the new weapon models and shit. Y'all could have added some new weapons. I don't even remember there was new weapons in that game, but you know what I'm saying. As far as the the weapon models looked and the, and some of the character models were a little wacky. I'm not gonna lie on that, but the majority of them looked decent. I say majority of them looked all right. You know, uh, you know, um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, like the the nighttime looked beautiful. It, it it looked better. Let's just put it this way: it looked better than GTA Definitive Edition. I'll tell you that. <laughs> the Saints Row Three Remastered looked a hundred times better than that Definitive Edition. I'm not even afraid to lie on that. And y'all, if anyone who disagrees, yeah, all right. you just got to be a fan of both. But uh, they can't. They couldn't even tell me why. They couldn't even. I, I honestly, y'all just fans are y'all just overly fans of Rockstar. If y'all say different, y'all couldn't even tell me why the Definitive Edition. Besides it being an older game, you know what I'm saying? You can't even tell me like one thing that they added that was better than the Central 3 remaster. You can't tell me. And I'm not talking about graphics. Like you can't you can't that that bunk ass weapon wheel that they stole from GTA five, the radio wheel that they stole from GTA five. I don't even like that. I, I hate that it slows down the gameplay. I like fast gameplay in my old GTAs. I don't like that shit. This ain't about GTA, it's about Central One and Two Remastered. So yeah, that they, they could've they could have add Maybe some more radio stations, maybe some more songs, maybe some, uh, um, shit, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Clothes, you know what I'm saying? That's all we really care about is the extra shit. It don't necessarily got to be story things, just give us extra shit with better graphics, man. Why is a remaster so hard to you developers, my nigga? Like, I don't get it. Why is this shit so, especially for, like, open city like are y'all limited to limited to what y'all could probably fit on the on the game? Like I don't I don't get it, my nigga. It's twenty. It's about to be twenty twenty two. 
it's no excuse. Y'all should have all this shit down pat, my nigga. We y'all know what we want. Better graphics, more content. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Just you don't gotta switch up the story. You don't gotta add crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can, like, if y'all want to do some Yakuza Kiwami shit and add more backstory to the characters, that'll be great. But y'all ain't gotta do all that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I mean, y'all don't gotta do that. You mean y'all gotta? You know what I'm saying? Go out the box. You know what I'm saying? Go out, jump out the box. You know what I'm saying? Bend over and, and, and do all types of. I mean, it would be appreciated. But really, we just need the necessities, and we good. You know what I'm saying? I don't give us so hard about that. You know what I'm saying? The necessities like extra content, you know, polished polygon models, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Beautiful graphics, beautiful a beautiful horizon, and keep the same glorious story. Wow, we good. You know, I mean? that's just me though, man. That's just how I would like it. That's how I would like Saints Row 1 and 2 remastered. You know what I'm saying? Since we got the third one. We don't need the Saints Row 4 remaster. And we damn sure don't need to get out of hell. Let let that die. <laughs> let that be buried, my nigga. But but give us give us what we want, man. You know what I'm saying? More tattoos, more all that, more haircuts, man. Come on. Y'all know what we want. Rocks I mean Volition, you know what we want. Volition, you know what we want. You know what I'm saying? These are these companies, man, Rockstar, they done for, man. But Volition, you know what we want. I don't think they do, man. But anyway, man, this is this is get back robbed three times. Let me know what y'all how y'all feel about this shit. You know what I'm saying? What do y'all want? You know what I'm saying? This is something that I didn't say. What do y'all want? Let me know in the comments down below, man. Active gang out, blurry 2K gang out, 2K gang out, man. I'ma catch y'all later in the next video, man. Uh before I even end this shit, all my Armageddon viewers that be that be itching for me to, you know what I'm saying? Hop back on this and finish what I fin gotta finish. I'm letting y'all know what's coming, man. I gotta get a new my new capture device. Gotta come from my original Xbox, but it's coming, man. Just to let y'all know, so be in, be patient, please. Bear with me. Anyways, man, I'm out here, man. I'm, I'm about to go do my thing. Catch y'all later. Peace.